Yeah, so, uh, so I've been talking about ClickHouse and kind of um, how you can monitor ClickHouse using uh, OpenTelemetry. So I I'm with IBM Astana, and IBM Astana is uh, IBM's observability platform. So what I'm gonna talk about may sound very familiar um, from Tanner's presentation, which is maybe both good and bad uh, because I can probably skip over some stuff which will make it the shorter, and we could have um, you know more time for other stuff. Um, but you know maybe the bad about that is it's going to look like his, and his you know may look better. He, he had some nice graphics at the end that I regret not including more installed graphics now. So yeah, what it is it is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of want to talk briefly about Insana, and then you know briefly about tracing and then kind of talk about ClickHouse, and then talk about you know, kind of how this fits together with Insana. Um, so this, this is actually a slide that I ripped off from our seller's deck. Um, there's a lot of information going on uh, here, but kind of why I wanted to include it is to kind of set the stage, right? So uh, you know, as I said, um, Insana is IBM's you know, observability solution, and um, you know, what it's really trying to do is as the slide says, uh, provide real-time observability for everyone. Um, and kind of with this comes, comes challenges around performance, right? Um, in particular, we're trying to provide, you know, high fidelity, um, you know, one second granularity um, with fast response time to notify customers of, uh, you know, incidents. And, you know, there's performance challenges with this. Um, and because of this, developers at Insta are you know very concerned about the performance of the system. Yeah, I, I, I threw up the Insta architecture, um, and again, there's, there's a lot of noise on this slide too. But um, so, I, and kind of what I was hoping to take away from it is, you know, kind of you know maybe the scale of what we're working with, but also how much we use ClickHouse, right? At, at Insta, like. Like at you know Shopify, it sounds like um, ClickHouse is kind of the, the the main data store we use to um, to store and query you know data for for our customers. So so this this is kind of maybe a little more digestible um, digestible architecture diagram. Um, but but so so and again this is this is relatively standard, right? Um, you know you have, you have some data ingest, you have you know ClickHouse instances, and then you have your, you know, your UI backend, which the, you know, your clients connect to and query their data in ClickHouse, right? Um, you know, this is this is relatively a relatively simple and standard architecture. Um, but kind of what I want to talk about today is a little bit, you know, more how we can use this um, this system to actually monitor ClickHouse, right? So how we can use Instana. Um, which you know uses ClickHouse to monitor ClickHouse, um, and and again this is this is a problem that we uh, that we really care about Instana, at Instana, right? Because because ClickHouse is you know a fundamental part of our system, um, you know we we do and our teams really care about. So here's here, here's where I'm going to benefit from uh, from Tanner's presentation. Um, I'm not going to talk much about tracing. I, I think he did a, he did a good job. Um, so uh, you know, I have a slide on it, but you know, um, I, I don't know where he is. But I, I yeah, I, I, I think uh, I, I think he did a good job. So I think we're going to skip over this one. What I will talk about a little bit though is open telemetry. So so kind of um, so so open telemetry is is I guess kind of the new hotness right now. Um, but it, really all it is, is it's a standard that kind of defines how you are um, collecting and um, transmitting traces among and, you know, other stuff like data, metrics, and logs. Um, so, so really all this means is it's, it's defining some, some you know, kind of structure that it's expecting the data to be in, and it's also defining, you know, well, it, it defines kind of the, the how you pass context between systems to kind of capture these, these traces. Um, and of course it does this through a you know, standard HTTP header um, that's included in requests. So 
If you didn't know, Quicko supports uh, open telemetry tracing. And this is, this is awesome for uh, tracing Quicko's performance, right? Because what this allows us to do is it allows us to um, you know, dive into ClickHouse and not only capture, you know, kind of flows through distributed systems, or sorry, through our, through our distributed systems, but also track those calls into ClickHouse and kind of see what ClickHouse is doing. So it's pretty easy to enable. Um, I, you know, I, I threw this up um, to, to kind of show it, but you, you can enable it in the, uh, in the configuration file. Um, and, and this will kind of allow ClickHouse to start collecting uh, the open telemetry spam log data. And then you can also add this uh, bottom line to your, um, to your config file, which will allow ClickHouse to start its own um, open telemetry traces. And you get something like this, right? And this is, you know, this is, this is pretty standard, right? It, um, pretty standard, you know, uh, fields that the, the uh, open telemetry specification requires and you know you you can kind of see see clickhouse tracing into how it executes a call um, but uh, but yeah so and, and so this this is kind of where systems like instana um, come into play right because you know you can query this data but you really want something you really want a way to export it and you know um, have a system kind of stitch it together for you and display it nicely, right? So you can gain actionable insights. Um, and again, this is something that our customers care about and this is something that teams within Instana care about. So, and again, I'm, I'm gonna benefit from uh, Tanner talking about materialized views here. Um, so you can export spans directly from ClickHouse and you can do this um, with a materialized view um, with, a, with a URL engine. Um, and so kind of what this does is whenever, um, whenever uh, data is inserted into the spam log, um, ClickHouse will actually take this, take this data, do, do some transform, um, and, uh, and, um, and you know, post it to the, uh, the URL specified by the table engine. And so I, I included this query, and this, this kind of query was, was from our uh, proof of concept of doing it this way. Um, and, and as you can see, it's, 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 it's a little messy, right? Um, um, but, it, but, you know, again, like, like Tanner was saying, you know, there's, there's messy queries, um, which is fine. But the real problem we had with this is, is this is invasive, right? Um, we don't want to be, specifically for customers, we don't want to be um, putting unneeded things into their systems, right? This is, this is something that, uh, this is a path we really don't want to go down. So our solution was to build um, a custom span exporter, right? So the idea is we're not gonna use a materialized view, we're not gonna export it directly from ClickHouse, we're going to create um, something that, you know, can be installed on the system and can export traces uh, for us. So um, we had some goals, um, and, and these goals uh, kind of align with those customer needs, but also kind of internal needs um, for, for monitoring uh, Instana. Um, so install should be easy, right? This, this, one's, this one's pretty, pretty simple, right? We, we have teams and customers that want, want to be able to get observability up and running very quickly, right? Um, and in particular for internal teams, you know, they may be throwing up instances, you know, very quickly and very often, and we want to make it, make it easy for them. So, the custom span explorer should probably also uh, automatically detect and reconfigure when stuff changes on the system. Um, kind of as I alluded to on the uh, previous slide, it should be non-invasive um, and should have a, you know, a small footprint in click, click house. Um, uh, it should also be able to perform pre-processing uh, tasks on the spans, which has the benefit of kind of being able to, um, to take some pressure off the back end and do some stuff you know, before, before it hits our system. Um, you know, we should be also be able to easily push configura configuration updates. Um, and then, you know, finally, we should probably also, while we're at it, while we're building this support, you know, metrics and profiling um, for ClickHouse. So, kind of how do we do this? Um, and and um, so this, this is kind of where you benefit from building something, kind of a mature system. 
Um, a lot of this stuff was, was, you know, was already there in Instana for us. Um, so, so kind of the Instana agent is, is um, a piece of, a piece of uh, the, uh, the Instana uh, system that kind of sits on the host, uh, there, the, the, yeah, the host system, uh, or the system we want to be monitoring. Um, so the idea is, is this Instana agent has, it's a simple one-liner install, um, and when you install it, it automatically discovers um, you know, kind of what's running on that system. Um, uh, and then kind of when it discovers what it needs, it will go and fetch the, uh, the, the sensors, which are kind of, you know, what actually performs the, mo performs the monitoring. Um, and then, you know, kind of when it, um, when it does this, it automatically starts collecting data and uh, sending it to the back end, right? Um, so, so again, this is nice. We got all this for free. Um, and, and that kind of ticks off a decent amount of, you know, kind of what we're looking to do. Um, but we still have to actually get the, um, the, the data out of ClickHouse, right? And, you know, this is kind of where we decided we didn't want to use a materialized view. Um, mm -hmm. So what we did instead is we decided, well, we can actually just query the uh, system uh, open telemetry span log, right, at regular intervals and use a sliding window to um, kind of make sure we get all the data. Right, and then we can actually do some pre-processing on the data uh, to make it, you know, nicer for the back end, um, and then we can send the spans to the back end, right, and have the back end, you know, stitch them together um, and present them nicely. And it does some other things, but I don't, know, I don't think it's super important. Um, yeah, and, and, and so here, here's where Tanner had a lot more nice pictures than I do, um, but. So, so we, 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 get some, we get some nice stuff, right? We get, um, we get, uh, we, we, kind of, we kind of get this ability to visualize what's happening in ClickHouse and kind of how that relates to what's happening in your, um, your distributed system, right? And this, is, this has been helpful to our, you know, kind of our teams to understand uh, both, you know, end-to-end -end performance of Instana, but also ClickHouse uh, performance. Um, yeah, yeah, and again, this is, this is another view of kind of a similar thing, right? But you you get these you get these nice these nice tabs that you can kind of understand understand what's going on, where the time's going um, in your queries. Yeah, and that's kind of it. Um, yeah, so to to recap, um, I talked a little bit about Instana, uh, kind of what it does, and you know how. Um, how we care about performance and you know, kind of how that enables our customers to you know, use it effectively. Talk a little bit about tracing, which was short because Tanner covered it very well. Um, and then, uh, then I talked a little bit about ClickHouse and kind of how it uses traces. And then um, I talked about how we did this in Instana. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. Uh, does anyone have any questions?